this edition of NSFW, we finally match wits against Brian. You know what you should do? Brushwood versus Owen, the number one advisor on the internet. Oh, doctor. Also, we preview Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon 2, double complete dragon in Atlanta, and please, folks, you are cheating your own life if you don't witness Get Set Go perform not one, not two, but three songs live. It's coming up on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 89 for August 16th, 2011. Two bros and a brother. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8. NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to Netflix.com slash twit. I, I'd like to thank you for having me on your show. I've got my Kool-Aid, and I just brought you bitches. I like the oh. 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 oh my god. Hold on. Thanks for having me. Hold on. Hold on, guys. The contrast got turned up on my screen again. I need to get this fixed real quick. Oh, oh Doctor just got really black. <laughs> All right, and with that, it is go time for NSFW. The new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets, uh, the show that's nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always not only by the fine, fabulous denizens of Chat Realm, but also by the intrepid one, the only, the Justin Robert Rubles the third JRY. What is going on, Justin Robert Young? Holy crap in my pants. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing show. <laughs> Brian, at the very we least, are... it'll be it'll be a very warm show that gets highly uncomfortable and crusty as it goes on, and yet makes me a quarter of an inch taller, <laughs> and I've also keeps eat. nobody getting close to you from now on. They don't want to no. get anywhere near you. I do have a live studio audience though tonight. Do my, you really? My old, my old good friend uh, for I've known for for decades, I guess decades, right? Yeah, Decade nice. and a half at least. Uh, Bernie, Chris Bernie is here, a fan of the show who has uh, came over to the, the the weird things I trick studio to come uh, watch it. But here's what we have on Doc. Number one, the Doc, the only Doc, the only man who counts when it comes to advice, where we shall find out tonight. Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, he joins us. Woo! What is going Thanks on? Thanks on the show, players. I'm not paying. I didn't ask for that. I'd be like, hey, 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 no, hey, get out of here. Of course, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, the Internet's number one advisor uh, joining us. But what, what do we got on the docket here today? What do we have to? All right. Well, first and foremost, we're going to talk about our gigantic. Listen, if you like NSFW. The Super Bowl of NSFW shows is happening in but three weeks. Folks, Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon 2, Double Complete Dragon, our live show for which we had our inaugural last year. It returns to Atlanta's world-famous Dragon Con this year, friends. And it is only 18 days, 22 hours, and 3 minutes and 32 seconds away at the time that I said that very sentence. Folks, we need your help to make sure that the hype reaches such a fevered pitch that nobody who's at in Atlanta, near in and near Atlanta, doesn't converge on the crystal 
ballroom at 8.30 Sunday to make sure that they see what will go on, and we'll explain exactly how you can help do that. Also, Owen, J.J. Stone, a.k.a. Doc, the number one advisor on the internet, matches wits against young upstart. Brian, and I didn't even know this until I saw the press release. Y you are now... The uh, internet first. You should do that, guy. Well, okay. Now you say you are now, but it's like that's my shtick. Uh, it's totally independent. A lot of people have accused that it's somehow related to Owen J.J. Stone's gig as the internet's number one advisor. That's not what I'm doing at all. I'm the first place guy on the internet of saying you should do. You know what you should do. I'm the. You know what you should do. That guy. Yes, you know what you should do that, which is like <laughs> people think it's like weird because you're not saying things right, but that's like kind of your trademark. Uh, you will match wits with Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. Odakta, in a, a challenge uh, that will be decided by Chat Realm Live. By the way, if you want to watch live, 10 p.m. Eastern time on live.twits.tv is where you can see it if you're listening to this via podcast. Uh, but Brian, first. Uh, oh, also, um, Go Set Go will join us as our musical guest in the Summer Music yeah, Series. Yeah, Summer Music Series, song. yeah, absolutely. Okay, look, let's start things off uh, right at the beginning. I know we mentioned right before we went live that, or uh, before we started recording, we told some of the folks in the chat room get what we're looking go. for. By the way, it's not Go Set Go, it's Get Set Go. Sorry, go ahead. Get Set Go. That's, uh, I don't yes. want to pr promote a band that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's like in that exact moment, somebody's already registered Go Set Go, and they're a parody <laughs> band, a tribute band to get to, to what was it? Okay, the even then, it can't nearly be as awkward as, as when I misidentified the member of the Spinto band who was in the Twit Cottage playing. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, what was it with that? Feet away from me. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. As far as um, we mentioned to the folks watching live that we got to have handouts to give to people so that everybody knows because we are one of the last events at all of Dragon Con. Now, last year, we were in a small room, but we packed that place. It was standing room only. We're talking standing ovation. We're talking horse boys kissing xenomorphs and uh, horrified Veronica Belmonts. It was amazing and electric. And this surprise, year, they gave us... Tom Merritt's. Uh, surprise, Tom Merritt's. Yeah. In fact, spoiler alert... Tom Merritt's going to be our guest this year, right? And it's like, this year, they gave us the big room. And they didn't give us the big room just because we attracted so many people. They gave us the big room because we didn't want to be a nuisance to all of the other panels going on live at this time. But we've got to yeah, pack this Because last year, we got there was personal complaints from Scott Sigler. Yeah, well, Scott uh, Sigler. Amongst, and, was, he, and he's only the one who was famous enough to complain about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah sure. well, and he was polite so about it as well. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't being a jerk or anything. He was just like, well, it sounded like you guys were having a lot of fun over there. Yeah, well, I was. A lot of woos, I'm sure. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So uh, here's the thing, though. They gave us the big room. We do not want to be half full on this thing. We want to pack this thing. We're talking 350, 400 seats in this thing, and we need it to be absolutely packed. So in the chat room, starting right now, we'd like to see you guys start sending in your promotional things. If you're at home watching this after the fact, we're going to start playing advertisements on NSFW. 15 seconds long. Keep them short and sweet, reminding people that it's NSFW at the uh, the the Hilton, Dragon Con at Dragon Con, uh, 8:30 Sunday, Sunday, Crystal, Crystal Ballroom. Ballroom. And so you too can put together little gems like this. They go like this. See, just like that. How quick and easy. You could do that. Anyone could do that. 15 seconds. 15 That's seconds. all you need, Smurf. folks. I'm going to make you guys a commercial. All right, done. So we got one from here. We also... No, here's no, the... I, 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 actually, I want to know, uh, Owen, uh, Brian, as, as you are loading, because people are sending stuff into the NSFW show at, at gmail.com, email address. But, Owen, uh, if you were to to uh, give us a, a general direction, what do you think we should highlight? Because we're looking for new people who are at Dragon Con Maybe they're dressed like the Christopher Eccleston Doctor Who. I don't know. I mean, how See, do we attract random actually, people who don't go to one of these things? Because I'm always to afraid to go, but I feel like if I had you there to support me, no one would harm me. Like, I've never gone to, like, the Comic-Cons or any of those things. Oh, you should kind of so freak me out. But, I, like, I feel like if I was with you guys, I'd be safe. But in my mind, yes. the commercial I thought was, um, I walk outside my backyard with a shovel, I start digging a hole, and I look in the camera and I say, you need to be in Atlanta on such and such date in such and such room, and then I pan to the hole, or else you might be in this hole. Because if you're not going to the show, <laughs> you might as well be dead. Physically threatening, death threats on That's people to get you know them to come. 
No, that's good. That's my that's my role. No, I like that. And maybe what you could do is say, and then like you say all that, and you're like, and then and it fades to black, and then it snaps back, and you're like, that was subtlety. I will physically kill you unless you go, <laughs> right? Just to make yeah, it totally clear. Then I'll yeah. come and stand at the door with a shovel. I walk around all week with a shovel. Like you ain't going on Sunday, uh, you and me. <laughs> that's the follow up. Is with the so doorbell so, so rings. basically, and you've already had your 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 quarrels with the old Spice guy, but you're saying that you would spend 24 hours just responding to people saying like, "No, seriously," at t two t two. I'm gonna kill you if you don't go to land. I will. I will buy a ticket to Estonia, and I will physically hunt you down and kill you unless you come to Bit Dragon Con, kind of a dragon too. Double go. Dragon. That's how it's going down. All right. Uh, also, we need handouts. Some of the stuff people put together is, you know, everyone at Dragon Con, they like the fantasy stuff. Yes. So uh, oh. it's your job to make a handout, not the other way around. <laughs> you know what? I, I can't believe I'm doing this, Justin. I was just about to <laughs> click go and show you the thing, but I realized you're still reading Game of Thrones and you're so hypersensitive about spoilers. Yeah, you can't I'm do done. that. I'm done. Wait, you read it? Yeah, I'm finished. I also think there's a lot of people who have not finished Game of Thrones. Okay. Should not be playing spoilers. All right. Well, then but I won't. I, I am won't finished show, with Game of Thrones. I won't show. Uh, I will not show this at all. That is something I will not show. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. <laughs> if you were wondering, uh, and then all, but I'll tell you what I will show is um, this promo right here. That uh, some amazing, I assume Photoshop skills. How on earth else could could this come to be? Because it looks like. It says NSFW Dragon Con Live, and it has a 3D rendered Brian Brushwood, very muscular, and a 3D rendered slightly less muscular Justin Robert Young. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm just going to say bare chested with two bullet start. belts uh, with some rippling abs that make me question my sexuality looking at a picture of myself, obviously. Um, but this is actually, Brian, a, a, a Toy Soldiers. Uh, Xbox arcade game. Yeah, okay. For like, anybody, this is real. For anybody listening to audio, stop whatever you're doing right now. Pull over, or don't even bother to pull over the car. Right now, whip out your iPhone. No, I don't care if your kids, if you're driving your kids to school. Yeah, no. Keep whip, driving your kids to school and say, F it. We'll right. get there eventually. Whip out your iPhone and type in Xbox Toy Soldiers and look at the freaking cover. Like, this is, let me show, let me find the original color. There we go. This, or actually, that's not even the, that's not it. This is the one where somebody modified it to make me even pinker than I am right now. But this is almost the actual freaking cover where it's so clearly me and Justin on the cover of this Toy Soldiers thing. Unreal. It's, it's actually bizarre. But no, no, no go, go check that out. Toy Soldiers uh, for Xbox Arcade. But uh, Brian, we are getting some stuff. Have you, have you looked in the NSMW at gmail.com? No, uh, no, but uh, you go ahead and set it up and by the time you say it, it'll be there. Okay, well, no, I know people are sending it to there. I just, I have not looked at it. <laughs> Neither of us have looked at it, is what you're trying to say. Well, uh, I just know people have seen it, so I figured you could look at it while I vamped. All right, sure that well, that's what's going on right now. And we're so, ready. We already have. I, I thought people would post it during the chat. And, in fact, nobody has sent us in anything. And, well, and, people. Except for this. This is what we got. This is... <laughs> A picture of a dragon wizard, uh, and it's me blowing a fireball at you, and it says dragon god kind of a dragon. Not bad, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, seriously. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I you don't want you... say that though. I know. Not in this day and age. I know. I know. It's inappropriate. You can't, you can't call them Orientals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but here's what I want, though. What I want is uh, I want posters sent in to NSFWshow at gmail.com. Uh, mainly, I'll tell you, I can't believe people hold on to this stuff from past years. This is like, this is last year somebody put this one together that, uh, and I suggest we don't do this, but NSFW takes Atlanta showing the union sacking of Atlanta even though those are pretty sweet photos of you and me down in the corner, uh, I'm going to say this probably will not engage people to come to the thing, right? No, no, no. The, the militaristic burning of their town during a painful national memory probably isn't going to uh, spur them to be like, yes, I need to see Brian and Justin and Veronica <laughs> and Tom and many a special guest make mirth in the Crystal Ballroom, 830 Sunday, Dragon Con, Atlanta, Georgia. Who right. would like to be sacked? What's that? Who doesn't like being sacked? Uh, well, um, the victims of the sacking. Oh. 
Sorry. It's usually not something where it's like somebody walks in on Monday at the work office and says, man, I got sacked like hell on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. Well, there's right. there's, there's a uh, good sacking and there's bad sacking. And if it involves the victims of the sacking, no one's the word ever victims. called sex sacking. Although they should. <laughs> well, well, I get it. I'm sack. trying to start something here, Justin. Roll oh, with me. No, I believe it, dude. It's like, no, we totally sacked. Uh, sacked last week. Sexy dude. sack man. Exactly. Yeah, it was like a, that. Man, I met a girl on Friday. She sacked me like she was Greg Lloyd in her prime on Saturday. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> She sacked me like Attila the Hun. I'm talking about stealing all my goods. <laughs> she sacked me like my lunch in eighth grade on Saturday. That was amazing. Yes. <laughs> all right. Look, uh, can we can we match wits here, or do we have business to conduct? Uh, Brian, I feel like um, you need to admit your terrible secret. Oh, you mean my new show? You know what you should do. Amer the Internet's you should do that guy. No. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that is. I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Brian's going to make any money because I'm taking 10%. For those of everybody who is watching or listening And this the, uh, guy right uh, here, this picture of this guy. Audio. This guy is a doofus nozzle. So, uh, well, says you. All, all, all you can see right now is the big, the big picture, which is Brian in – a button-down shirt and a tie that says, you know what you should do in swooping <laughs> black letters with, with green with, with the whitest hairstyle I've ever been managed, been yes. able to put on my own face. And you it's like, like you're selling insurance. Like you look like all you're I know is insurance. that Garrison Keillor would look at that and say, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what would happen when they saw that, when he saw that picture. Uh, uh, no, Brian. You should advertise your very successful podcast uh, using uh, uh, a website uh, uh, of Squarespace. You need, you need, give it a proper intro, bro. Proper oh, intro. You should do, you know what you should do? Yeah! Dot Squarespace.com. Exactly, right? Because that's going to be because, what makes the box. Because when users go to, you know what you should do? <laughs> dot Squarespace. Squarespace.com. You're choking on your own words. I choked on the wisdom. He's choking I on your words. I couldn't get so much wisdom out of my mouth without <laughs> thinking about how much. That's why you need Brian. That's why you need to go to, you know what you should do. I'm sorry. You know what you should do. Dot Squarespace. Dot Squarespace.com. Right. Yeah. No, that's uh look, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to, uh, you know what you should do. Dot Squarespace.com. And when you go there, you will get not only a bunch of Q and A's and wisdoms and all this stuff, but here's the thing: it's going to be so popular, it's going to blow Reddit out of the water. People, it's Reddit's going to change his name to Red What? Like what? Because I already uh, uh, read it over. Brian, at, you know what uh, you Brian. should do? Yeah, at that point, you know what you should do is rely on Squarespace.com's distributed hosting that makes sure that your website never goes down, no matter how many people visit it at once. Yeah, so wait, wait, but, but how good will it look? Because if I'm going to invest a lot, what was the name of the site again? You know what you should do? <laughs> if I'm, squarespace .com. Right, if, if people are going to go, I want it to look good. I don't want it to look like, well, you know, some hobo tried to HTM what's and, you know, spread well, right. guacamole on my screen. I want it to look awesome. How is that going to work? Wait a minute, like, are you worried about how it's going to, like, look physically, though? Like, to people's eye? Yeah, 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 the layout design. You know what you should do? is use so many of the templates on squarespace.com to make sure that your website looks pristine and beautiful. Their templates are works of art. I swear to God, Leonardo da Vinci just traveled forward in time, looked at the templates on squarespace.com and said, I can't do this. And he killed himself <laughs> in a tenement apartment in Peoria, Iowa. <laughs> he showed up just to see the beauty of Squarespace and said, that's it. I'm going to make a new invention <laughs> called it. the kill yourself because there's no point in living when this is what the future holds. Dot Squarespace dot combinator. Exactly. And then he killed himself. He said, hey, I'm famous for painting ceilings. Why don't I do it with my brain? That's, and my brush that's Michelangelo. Is Mike, Michelangelo is the one who painted the Sistine Chapel. No, Da Vinci did one <laughs> in Peoria, Iowa <laughs> <laughs> earlier that about? day. All right, fine. Uh, yes, and you can go when you go to a Squarespace two week trial. Make sure to use promo code NSFW8. 
<laughs> NSFW8 and get you 10% off. Okay, uh, look, let's match which. It's me versus, um, you know, it's me, the internets, you know what you should do, that guy, versus the number <laughs> you know one. What you should do that, yes. Come on, Brian, Brian give us. Gonna, I know, I know. Yeah. You're going to go into that, Brian. I'm going to go. Have to pay me 10% Tijuana Jackson 50, and you're going to have to pay Justin Robert Young royalties for every time he says that in that squeaky voice. Uh, you know what? And and that's I'm willing to do that. But here's but but let's let's face it. How are we going to judge who's better though? That's the question, Justin. Uh, Brian, it's very 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 simple. First, I am going to challenge uh, because by the way, I don't know if everybody knows, but I'm a licensed medium. Uh, Me I was medium. licensed by the state of Uzbekistan to channel spirits and uh, direct them to you via the internet. Okay, and when you say direct them, you mean like uh, like you're gonna speak in the spirit of ghost voices? Well, I mean, because they're not ghosts, not they're ghosts. living. Spirits, they're living Brian, follow them, spirits. Okay, no, spirits, fine, fine wines and spirits, yes. Uh, yes, but uh, what everyone's gonna be able to do is once I pose these questions and conundrums to of course, I'm doctor, the number one advisor on the internet, and Brian, the you know what you should do, guy. You know what um, you should do, Dad. You know what you should do, Dad. You know what you should do, Dad, guy. Yeah. Uh, everyone's gonna be able to go to nsfwshow.com/poll. Okay. nsfwshow.com/poll. Uh, yes, and they are going to be able to vote live, and like a debate, we are going to be able to tell who has given the best advice in the opinion of the chat room. Okay, so people will have, it'll automatically update. For example, let's say right now at this moment, let's say Odocta said something really terrible. So everybody vote Odocta down and vote Brian up, even though right yeah. now they're doing the opposite. Clearly Odocta is 100% positive. There we go. And so <laughs> now we have live real-time tracking results. You can see that Odocta's popularity is going down and my popularity is going up. Now let's reverse it. Now let's say, by the way, don't think I didn't notice, jerk faces, that you made the Brian line pink and the Odonta <laughs> line black. All right? Let's just... Well, all right. I mean, they want to be true. Okay. <laughs> all right. So anyway, you guys, this will this will update live in real time if you go to nsfwshow.com slash poll, and it's between me and Odonta. So let's hear it, Justin. First question. Well, here's the thing, uh, Brian. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, one of the big news stories has been uh, the burgeoning political scene that um, we have had the, uh, the Ames uh, Iowa straw poll. Yep, yep. And uh, a lot of the fallout. Yep. Things are beginning to shape up, which will uh, turn our country in 2012. Uh, either Obama, Barack Obama will get reelected, or a Republican challenger. So uh, from the uh, from the fallout, I have the following that I will channel. Okay. It's a licensed medium. Okay, now you're channeling a person who's having a problem. Yes. That they can't say publicly. So they need to come to my spirit realm. Is it quiet? And yeah. You're going to find your, your political power animal. Uh, what is your political power animal, by the way? Um, it is a ape riding a moped. <laughs> okay. And he's wearing a very jaunty hat. Okay, you're going to close your eyes. You're finding... Your I ape? have to take. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not gonna take guff from you, okay? All right. No. I have very specific regiments into how I channel. All right. And it includes drinking this delightful homebrew made by Chris Bernie. Okay. If you're gonna rob somebody in Minnesota, okay. Rob Chris Bernie and steal his homebrew. All right. You will just relax. Hello. I'm Rick Perry. <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but uh, maybe it'll come to us. In my first three days as a candidate, I threatened that Texans would treat Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke ugly. I questioned a sitting president's patriotism and deep-throated a corn dog at the Iowa State Fair in front of a cameraman. Is it my uniquely Texas live wire ways that best get in the way of me being elected? Or should I calm down a little bit? Oh, doctor, you ah! want to take this? Ah! Oh, God. All right. And you're back. Return. Uh, all right. Oh, doctor, you want to take this one first? Sure. Um, if I were you, I'd keep doing the same shenanigans you've been doing. 
deep throat a couple more corn dogs. Just make sure that they're only corn dogs because basically, if you don't do things like that, no one in this country is going to know who you are. Brian doesn't even know who you are, so I don't know how he's going to give you an answer. But uh, I'd continue doing crazy things, you know, uh, maybe trip and fall, do something funny, embarrass yourself, so that the American public gets to know who you are because otherwise nobody's going to know. Okay. So keep up the good work and acting crazy. All right, uh, as, as moderator, let me point out that corn dogs is actually the nomenclature of Iowa gay men, and also that it'd be really ironic if Brian doesn't know who Rick Perry is. Brian, <laughs> yeah. go. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you very much, Odokta, for, uh, for your opinion. However, as somebody who lives in the state of Texas, I'm very aware that uh, our governor, three times elected, Rick Perry, uh, is a governor of the state of Texas. And... To say that you should go on being as silly as possible, number one seems Whoa! kind Whoa! Of... Where's your trademark? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I clicked away from it. <laughs> you know what you should do, Rick Perry? <laughs> you know what you should do, Rick Perry? Is uh, maybe you should not listen to Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring up the freaking... Uh, the NSFW poll, but now I screwed it up because you made me. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. So now we got this First thing right responder here. Responder ever. You're losing this debate. No. Okay, listen, listen. Here's what you do, bro. Don't tell me. There's only one thing you need to do to win this thing. You can say literally anything you want. It doesn't matter how idiotic it is. As long as you stop sounding exactly like George W. Bush. That is the only thing you need to do to walk away with this thing. The second I listen to your stupid yapping George W. Bush mouth, I just go into fits and nightmares and I punch the first person I see. And that's how America is going to react. My advice to you, Rick Perry, stop sounding like George W. Bush. And we're done. And right now, the NSFW official polls say that Odakta is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Oh, Doctor has won the first. But there's debate. no lag. There's lag. Like, there's like, there's like, just now. It's like we're tied. I am above you though, so we're not tied. Well, we're essentially tied. Any minute, my it's wisdom's gonna hit seconds them. Seconds before you even started talking, you've got your own tagline. Next channeling, please. All right. Well, yeah. clearly, O Doctor's winning now. He's running away with it. Screw uh, you guys. Yes. Okay. So, Brian, you lost. Anger me. Also, right. um. Of course, uh, there were people who were in the chat room mentioning that uh, Kinky Friedman lost his challenge uh, for the Texas governorship in the last election. Although maybe Brian could run uh, for the vacated Rick Perry governorship uh, as Pinky Friedman. <laughs> you know what so, you should listen, do? Just a thought. You know what you should do? You should stuff it up your ass. That's what you should <laughs> all do. All right, all right. Uh, Brian, I will now channel using my very official Chris Bernie homebrew beer, my next guest. I need to play another chant for me, by the way. Oh. Hello, I am Barack Obama. <laughs> oh! Seriously, poop in my face. That's all I ever get is poop right in my face. Dead soldiers in Afghanistan. I got John Boehner's up my butt every other month. I go on the road and explain why the economy sucks, and everyone jumps on me for saying it was bad luck. Then I try to be a little more of the people, and I take a bus, and I've got Matt Trudge telling all of talk radio that it costs $2.5 million. Of course it costs that much. I'm the most powerful man in the free world. You need to armor my bus. You know how much armor costs? I'm not sure. But it probably costs a lot. Also, we have a missile launcher. Because it's awesome. I'm seriously planning coming out for my next speech like Stone Cold Steve Austin, flipping off the crowd and drinking beers. <laughs> then I'm going to give Biden the stunner. Because seriously, what was I thinking? Brian and Odakta. Does it get better? Ah! Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, listen, Justin, I don't know what to read from this, and I don't know whose turn it is, but I know that the moment you mentioned your Barack Obama, Odakta's ratings took a nosedive. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> like, I'm not entirely sure what that says. For the, like, I don't know. The Brian, the Brian All block. All says, Brian, is just your turn to answer the question. Get to it, okay. Captain Skippy. <clears throat> uh, Barack Obama. Um, you know what you should do? <laughs> it reminds me, there was, a, there was a guy who ran a few years ago for president who had this ability to really rally the masses and, uh, and get behind certain things that the whole country could get behind. And uh, should he be elected, he was going to enact real change that would bring hope. And that candidate's name was Barack Obama. I suggest you look him up. He was in 2008. Follow his platform. Uh, maybe you know, see what that guy did, and maybe it'll work out for you. That's my, that's, what, that's my opinion of, you know what you should do, your witness? Uh, first of all, President, you should yourself, because basically <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. No sitting president during wartime has been kicked off the throne, so you're going to get to sit there. But my problem with you is, forget your armor bus. I know you got to be protected, but why you sent your monkey, big old budded, tall, horsey and woman wife to Africa and spent $65 million <laughs> on planes, security, uh, food, for what? She's from Africa Heritage. She don't need to go back. There's nothing in Africa that we need right now. You're not helping the people that are being slaughtered in North Africa. You go down to South Africa, you send your wife to South Africa for what? You need to get some perspective because the country's all screwed up. And guess what? They're going to blame you because you're black. You're half black. You might as well be white. So that means you're screwing us over doubly. You're black and incompetent, and you're white and you're evil. What you need to do is start fixing <laughs> some stuff around here and shut the funk up and continue to go yourself. Justin and uh, Brian, after after a stunning revelation, where a doctor called Barack Obama our sitting president, black and incompetent and white and evil. Brian has won. <laughs> uh, now I'm watching the lag. Although I tell you what, man, he definitely started to rebound there at the end. But but yeah, I, I think I do have the edge on him right there. So that's one a piece. <laughs> I would piece. give that one a four eight. drudge siren alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, so last last question. You got somebody else to, to channel for us? Uh, yeah, we have one last question and a bonus. Uh, but here we go, uh, Brian. I need I need one more uh, tech news today, champ. Okay, here we go. I'm a kook, and at worst, has no idea who I am. I've cultivated a following of hardcore believers who think I'm awesome. This is in no way like a certain internet show. Do people ever <laughs> take me seriously? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. Owen, you go first. Oh, God. Oh, oh. All right, Owen. So apparently, Ron Paul needs your advice. Uh, what What do you say to one Ron Paul, sir? Ron Paul, what you need to do is do what most politicians do and do a complete 180 on everything you say. Just pick something like what Sarah Palin says and go with that BS. You know what you do? You just tow the company line, you put some tea bags in people's mouths for a few months, and then the media starts paying attention to you, people start to get to know you, and then you're not going to get elected president, but people know you. So then later on, maybe you could run for president, get in there, and do a whole 180, and then fix the country like you say you're going to do. But what you need to start doing right now is just lying to the American public. Because everything you're doing right now, nobody wants to talk about you. you got big, goofy ears, you're skinny, and your son's a nut job. So my suggestion to you is to just do the exact opposite of what you're doing and what you're saying right now and get some votes. Ron Paul, 2012. Brian, go. Uh, listen, if there's a bright, shiny center of the world, look, there, I got bad news for you people. There ain't no Easter Bunny. There ain't no Santa Claus. There ain't uh, nothing that's pure and good in the world, or at least not in politics, except for Ron Paul, who at least is consistent and on message and reelected 11 times or elected 11 times to Congress. Ron Paul, you don't change one freaking thing about yourself. The internet's got your back. Here's what'll happen. Go yeah. ahead and finish this race. You do your thing, and you, I know you got to do it in meat space. When it's over, we will download your conscience to the Internet, and you will become president of the Internet. And it will be a magical land where we use gold tokens. You can farm for gold in World of Warcraft. We know you like gold. Um, and uh, anyone can say or do anything they want. Ron Paul, 2012. 
president because of the internet. people on the internet are making money right now, Brian, and the internet has so much control and power. They did compare it to this show, and then you want to Keep try going. and tell him you're going to download him into the computer? Yes, yes. Keep going. You're going to take that, Brian? I'm, say I'm saying yes. Of course Brian's going to take that. What is he going to do? He's going to sit there with his spiky Woo! hair in his little safe room, and he's going to take it. You still haven't used your catchphrase, Brian. Oh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what you ought to do? <laughs> you know what you should do? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, uh, we need we need a judge's ruling on this. Where are we at? Uh, Brian, please show the results. It is a dead tie. Top. That's crazy. Which means that we have to go to overtime, Brian. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have another one in you? I have one more. All right, well, then that means I'll have to play Brian, all three. Brian, I need all, I need the power of all three TNT chants <laughs> as I take yet another swig of Chris Bernie's homebrew. Hello. I'm Tim Pawlenty. <laughs> I quit the race a couple days ago, and I'm really bored. Do you guys have anything that you'd like to suggest to watch on Netflix instant streaming? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, really bored. <clears throat> oh! Oh, my God! Uh. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, my sweet Lord! Oh, no! If I may, it's hard uh, to come out of the spirit world. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, uh, listen, if I may, uh, why man, we could just look at Odarkta's backside. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Tim Pawlenty, listen, I know you got a lot of time in your hands, and I recommend what you do is you sign up for uh, in a uh, go to go to Netflix.com/slash Twit and Wait, sign hold up. Hold on, Brian. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm feeling another one. Ah! I already said I signed up for Netflix. Just <laughs> let <you> know. <laughs> By the way, when I signed up, I used Netflix.com slash Twit. And you got what? thirty and you got thirty days free, right? I did. You know, you know what you could do is you can you can watch movies like All the President's Men, Nixon, Never W, JFK. Never seen, Never seen it. See? They're all available. You can check all of them out at Netflix.com. What are they about? What's that? What are they about? Presidents. People who successfully ran for and became president of the United States. Who's that? Is that like a, a Hispanic name? President? <laughs> That's, it's, it's the office that you were running for. That's, uh, you know what you should do is uh, just relax. Just take, take it easy and watch. The car they got cartoons. Home Movies is now on Netflix Instant Streaming. Never seen it. What's it about? It's, it's about home movies. It's, these are not trick questions. But oh, they're is, cartoons. No, but how could they, what's what, they, they? They took home movies and they drew them? Uh, no. What's going on? No, it's, it's about, it's, they got Coach McGurk and uh, Brendan Small. It's funny. No idea what you're talking about. Owen? Get back to this president guy. What oh, happened to him? Owen, what maybe you can talk some sense into to presidential candidate former. So basically yeah, no, what you I'm, need I'm really, right now I'm, I'm candidate for popcorn that I'm about to make because I'm bored. Okay, go. What you need to do is uh, get a tie and wrap it around in a knot and then find a doorknob or a hanger and just kill yourself. I don't know if they have snuff films on Netflix, but I suggest just, just, <laughs> just end it. Just tie a knot real tight and, and just kill yourself. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Nobody's going to miss you. Nobody's going to know any difference. So if you have to get a white guy behind you to pull the tide, and that's what you do, but just kill yourself. Okay, so so the que the question, of course, is what movie should I watch on our sponsor Netflix? And your answer is, why don't you just kill yourself? <laughs> no, no, I said watch a snuff film. There's like nine millimeter, eight millimeter he can watch to learn how to do this. Don't talk to me like that, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> I just, have seen that movie. I nine have seen millimeter with uh, uh, Nicholas. Cage. I thought Nicholas no. Cage was delightful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Brian he was Brushwood. he was a uh, should watch he was a man Netflix, out Brian. to get the truth. You know what you should do? Watch more movies. Yes, absolutely. That's uh, what I'm suggesting. I'm Tim Pawlenty. I just quit the race. I'm very bored. I have nothing to do. Looking for movies. 
Uh, look, I'd hate to say it, Justin, but I think we're dead, we're dead tied across the board on this thing. Well, I'm not Justin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can, can we get back Justin? Can we get Justin back, please? I would just like to recommend to everybody that using <laughs> Netflix.com slash twit was the best decision I've ever made. Way better than the decision I made to run for president, which I don't know if you've heard, didn't turn out too well. <laughs> Let some crazy shrew from my own state completely run me out of the race. Just uh, say. You know oh! what? Oh my God. Oh, sweet Lord. Netflix.com slash I don't know how it happened, but spontaneously a, a Justin line showed up in the poll and it immediately you took you took the top marks on it. It was amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So there we go. Netflix.com slash twit. Uh, with 30 days free trial, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. 30 and, days free way, trial. And, and everybody's going to be talking about, I know for me, uh, I got, a, I got some emails from Netflix saying, hey, you know those wastes of physical space that we call discs? Send them back to us. And I took it today. I didn't even send them back to them. I just threw them in the mouth of a raven. And I said, take that back. Because I don't even care where they go. I don't care about second. physical media. Get streaming Netflix, which is the only thing you need in life for the cheapest rate they've ever had it once you get past your 30 days where you're paying nothing, which is the cheapest it can possibly be. That's right. You have to be retarded to not get on Netflix right now. That's correct. What was that you wanted to say, Owen? Uh, I thought he was going to say he was going to throw it into the mouth of Arabia. And, uh, oh, then yes, Arabia. correct. correct. So. Take your discs and throw them to the mouth of Arabia. <laughs> of Arabia. To Arabian <laughs> babes. Like Arabian Nights. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian, listen. This has been a hilarious show. Or at least that's what we'll say when we rewrite the Wikipedia when people accurately <laughs> write about the show. <laughs> okay. You're talking about the BBpedia over at bbliveshow.net. Sure. <laughs> Hold on. Let's have Tim Palenti talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, folks, the summer music series. Unfortunately, as summer waxes and wanes, we are, we are drawing to a close on the summer music series. Uh, but we have saved some of the best acts for last, and this is one of them. Um, you know, this is an actual, this is a band that has been featured. Not only they have a massive following on the internet, but they also have been featured on, on Grey's Anatomy and actual television shows that play hot, awesome bands. They're amazing. If you don't know them, you need to know them and consider this your introduction. Folks joining us from Los Angeles, California, Get Set Go is here. Get Set Go. How are you guys Hello. doing? Hello. How's it going? Hey, everybody. Oh, it's good to see you guys. Fantastic. How are you doing? I am, well, uh, Eric is, uh, he'll have to speak for himself, but I'm doing uh, pretty all right, you know? I'm uh, not in pain and I'm yeah. not on drugs, so I'm doing okay. <laughs> That's very. I'm on uh, both, so I'm fine. Review where it's like, look, I'm not gonna speak for my friend here, but I'm gonna say that I myself am doing all right. I woke up, uh, got a hangnail. Not gonna lie, yeah. it's a little bit comfortable, but uh, in general, I'm doing very well. Where are you guys based out of? Um, Los Angeles, and actually in downtown LA. So uh, it's sort of a, its own little creature. Uh, there's the rest of Los Angeles, and then there's actually downtown. It's a very odd little place, but it's awesome. All right. Now, when you find yourself in that uncomfortable situation in an elevator where you explain that you're a musician and then immediately the cute girl says, oh, what kind of music do you play? Like, what's your pat answer for that? How do you handle that one? Um, yeah, I usually just run for the hills. I don't know what Eric does, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, and then I just freak out and run away. I, I generally <laughs> don't tell him I play viola because that doesn't usually help my case. Not no, usually yeah. a lady killer. Yeah, that's like, viola I, I play the viola. Like, oh, that's the, uh, that's the small one, right? <laughs> exactly. Female genitalia, you say that. Right, exactly. <laughs> You're playing what? Or sometimes I'll say, I play viola, and they'll say, Oh, are you Eric from Get Set Go? Oh, yeah. Oh, do they really? No, they never oh, say yeah. that. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, so what are you going to play for us tonight? Um, well, we, well, we, uh, we weren't 100% sure. We're, we're going to start off with uh, one of the hits, one of the songs that was featured on Grey's Anatomy um, called I Hate Everyone with um, revised lyrics just to make sure that if there are any children listening that they don't um, bleed out their eyeballs or their noses. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Let's just check for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah um, and, then, and then, you know, and after that, uh, we've, got, we've got a new record that we're in the process of putting out, and, um, and we think maybe we'd play what, a, a track from that at some point. So... Um, 
But it's up to you. Whatever you guys want, we'll play. Yeah, absolutely. No, 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 we'll no, take whatever we can get. Let, let, let's go ahead and play uh, I Hate Everyone. But first, uh, I do want to let everybody know that their new album, Fury of Your Lonely Heart, can be helped by you by going to the Kickstarter. Folks, all you got to do is go to kickstarter.com and search for Get Set Go. Make sure you yeah, just throw a buck their way. Buck two, everything helps to make sure that this fantastic music gets out to the masses where it belongs. And folks, at the end of the Kickstarter campaign, a streamathon featuring Chris Gore from Attack of the Show and Mike Viola, the fellow who co-wrote That Thing You Do and many songs in the Walk Hard, as well as many other awesome musicians and friends of the band will uh, delight you if you have donated, but a little bit, a pittance, my friends. But first, performing I Hate Everyone live on the NSFW show for the summer music series, it's Get Set, or Get Set Go. Folks, Get Set Go. Check out line was paying for beers with nickels and dimes and some old nanny clip coupons and argued whenever they wouldn't take one. All I wanted to buy was some cigarettes, but I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. I hate everyone. I hate everyone. I hate everyone. And gave me the finger when I freaking hung Then he proceeded to put on the brakes He slammed on the brakes, but I made a mistake When I climbed out of the van He was waiting But he was 6'3 and 200 pounds of Satan I hate everyone to a whole lot of music this summer. I sneak into the shows. But I will tell you that maybe it's just the anger in my heart, but I want to cry. That was the most beautifully amazing, wonderful, special song that I've ever heard. The joy that I felt in my heart when they were saying how much they hated people. I can relate. I can feel it. Yes. I, 
This isn't my show. I'm just a guest. But I love you. You know, you, hate you know what? Clearly, the, the chat room thinks you're right. Because uh, if you look, oh, doctor's ratings now through the roof. The angrier oh, gets up in this, the happier they are. We are hating everyone. I am in love with this group. I'm going to go give $5 over to the kicks. <laughs> my hard earned You know I got singles. You know what? I might even take like $6 out of this jug. Yes. <laughs> we actually do take change. We, yeah, we do take change. So you can uh, just go ahead and uh, de deposit change. We collect it. Well, we we'll take that. I'll tell you, and the response from the chat room was amazing, dude. Not only in the chat room, but on Twitter, people started hitting me up, saying, "Where on earth are you finding all these amazing bands?" So awesome! awesome. Clearly, awesome. they love you. You guys have crazy I, I, talent. I, I will actually tell you, not only is Get Set Go uh, amazing, and you guys so rock, but all of the bands that you have heard over the last six weeks have been user found and approached and submitted, uh, and, and you guys are are uh, amazing and awesome again. Uh, Fury of Your Lonely Heart is their new album for which they will play a single to take us out of the show. But you can make sure that it happens. You know, they can they can complete their album with your help. Go to kickstarter.com and search for Get, Set, Go. And uh, you can donate just a little bit. And at the end of the Kickstarter well, campaign, the Streamathon featuring Chris Gore and uh, Mike uh, Viola, who co-wrote... Some of the, like if you haven't seen that thing you do or walk hard, the songs in those movies are amazing, and so many other musical friends. You can be there if you donate. Kickstarter.com. Search for Get Set Go. And uh, uh, guys, let me just ask you this: uh, Where the hell? I mean, like, how does that song come together beyond the primal rage that it takes to write it? Because, <laughs> that's yeah. Not a I mean, that's, that should be a sufficient, but is there a deeper specific <laughs> meaning behind all that? I, I, actually, it was that entire song, all of the things that happened in that song happened to me in one day. Um, and I got home, and, and there were other horrible things. I just couldn't, I didn't, couldn't fit additional lyrics in because it's, you, know, you have to keep it at three and a half minutes. But uh, yeah, it was, it was probably the worst day of my life. And, uh, and so I took the most banal thing, which is the, trying to just buy a pack of smokes and like, like the line was magically, magically long. It was ridiculous. And so I just sat there and waited and waited. And I left. And then, and then, you know, at some point later on, I'm driving and, like, literally, I climb out. I'm like, I'm going to kick this guy's butt. Yeah. And he climbs out and he, and he like, unfolded like a transformer. Just, and, and all of a sudden, he was gigantic and right in front of me, like, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm like, you know what, man? You're totally right. I'm sorry. I guess I totally, you cut me off, but I was the jerk. I'm yeah, coming back to my I, car. I know. guess he's going to write a big old fat song about you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, you just I, have that coming. One, one more thing, just for the record. I will be getting sued in the next year or so because I think I'm going to adopt that as my theme song. Uh, <laughs> I will donate to the Kickstarter, but I can't afford the royalties. But I will be playing that uh, on my shows, in my car, and as my ringtone. So when you sue me, just know that I'm, I did it out of love for the song yes. and the music. Awesome. Just yeah, no, that's, yeah, feel free. I, you know, like, we, uh, that song, our label handles, but uh, we will speak in your behalf. And we'll be like, hey, he's a friend. He likes the music. Don't worry about it. Keep an eye out for the new verse, like, and that guy on the internet who uses the song on his show. I hate you so much. <laughs> Look for our legal defense fund Kickstarter in about yeah, six months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys are super talented musicians, and... I, I really cannot speak enough about Kickstarter as a place where, you know, honest, awesome fandom meets honest, awesome talent. Uh, but funding this album through Kickstarter and, and, and doing it, have you been in the label system? Uh, what's different and what do you hope to bring to the new album, Fury of Your Lonely Heart? Well, actually, that's really funny. Um, as, you know, I mean, obviously... Most people are aware that that music sales are really diminishing, and and basically the pie is getting smaller. And so, we 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 decided, all right, well, we, we're splitting this pie. There's so many people that have their hands out that get paid before we do, that um, we're like, hey, let's let's pull ourselves from our label. Let's do it all ourselves, um, and then that way we can keep the pie. Um, unfortunately, yes. we didn't realize that uh, the pie is very, 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 very expensive, and uh, and so yeah, and. <laughs> And so we've basically spent our entire life fortune, you know, our, 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 at least my personal life savings and a bunch of, and, and, and we've tapped into the, the savings of my bandmates um, to put out this record. And we are just like literally at the five yard line and we're like, uh, we've run out of steam. So that's why we're doing the Kickstarter campaign is, is to hopefully allow us to get out on the road and, and to finish the completion. We've, we've, we've recorded 52 songs. 
Um, or we're, in the, we're still in the process of completing them, and we're, we're going to be releasing all, all of these songs over the, over the course of the next year. So we're kind of like, this is, this is the, what you give us, and then this is what you get, oomph, you know, and we're going to give you all sorts of magic. Listen, I, I will say this, is that you guys are very, very unfortunately, by the date of your birth, at the sea change of, of where things go from where they were to where they will yes. be. And, yes. And you are lucky enough that, like, yeah, you poured a bunch of money into this, but I think on the basis of your town alone, you are going to get enough people that will not only finish your album, but will carry you forward. And believe you me, I mean, through doing the Summer Music Series, we've talked to a lot of not only you know, single YouTube acts that do, you know, stuff from, you know, either bands or just people playing ukuleles, but also like actual guys who have had record deals and everybody is going toward this concept, you know, through one, one room or another that they are getting closer to their fans and the people who actually make a difference in their career. And uh, for, for folks who, uh, who are awesome like you guys, I'm sure you will have no problem uh, going forward past here. But, uh, with your new album, Fury of Your Lonely Art, what are you playing us uh, uh, out to? Um, uh, do you want to do uh, We Will Be Stars? Stars? Okay, yeah. yeah. So this this is a song called We Will Be Stars, um, and uh, it's just it's just one of the one of the fan favorites. We've we've been playing these songs on Ustreams. We do a twice a weekly Ustream on Wednesdays and on Saturdays, and so we've been vetting all these songs in front of our hardcore fans across the planet, and it's been a lot of fun. And this is one of them that uh, they all seem to really dig. It's called We Will oh. Be Stars. And, oh, go ahead. I'll tell you what, Dave, if you can hold on for two seconds, uh, we'll just do final plugs real quick. Uh, Owen, what, what do you got to plug? Uh, Odak on Twitter, Hippo Ninja, just sign for the email because I'm going to be launching soon. And NSOW Show. I love you guys. I missed you guys. And the chat room, rocking as always, and uh, great show. Uh, Brian? Uh, dude, you know I'm all about the Google Plus these days, but I just launched a new... If you're into the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO that's coming out any minute now, and by any minute I mean sometime this year theoretically, <laughs> me and uh, Adam Polowski started a uh, podcast called The Cantina Band. The inaugural episode has uh, one Scott Epidog Johnson on it, and uh, Bill Meeks does the sound design for the beginning of it, and I'm really surprised how much I enjoyed re-listening to the first episode when we did it. It's on iTunes if you search the Cantina Band. You can't miss it. Check it out. Yes. Download it, subscribe, and then listen to the uh, final five minutes. That's all I'll say. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because um, you might be involved somehow. Nope. Uh, my name is Justin R. Young. You can follow me at Justin R. Young on Twitter. You can follow me at Justin Robert Young on Google+. Plus. And 830 <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia, oh, Dragon Con is where uh, you will see. Go. Dude, right there. See, we, this is what we're looking for. We need stuff like this, where it shows a picture of Xenomorph making out with Horse Boy. says, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like that. NSFW show, Double Complete Dragon, Hilton Atlantis, Crystal Ballroom, sponsored by Dharma Initiative Non-Alcoholic Beverages, a product of NSFWshow.com. That is exactly the kind of thing we need. And in fact, uh, uh, one, one last thing. Somebody actually sent in a video thingy as well for this little guy right here. 15 seconds, you said, right? September 4th, 2011. Crystal Ballroom, 8.30 p.m. Dragon Con. Con of a Dragon 2. Double complete dragon. You will believe two species can make out. Get in the NSFW water. <laughs> the NSFW water. There we go. Fantastic. Folks, that's where you need to be. But right now, all you need to do, if you're listening to me talk to this, you just got to relax your eyes and your ear holes and enjoy the fury of Get, Set, Go and a single off their new album, Fury of Your Lonely Heart, which you can donate to on kickstarter.com by searching Get, Set, Go. We will all be stars. Take it away, boys. <laughs> Setting myself on fire to read by the light Nothing burns quite like me in the dark night Would you like to set yourself alight, baby? Would you like to glow? Does it hurt most certainly? Do you need 
little light Set myself on fire to drive away the dark Nothing burns so bright as a fire in my heart Would you like to set yourself alight, baby? Would you like to glow? Does it hurt most certainly? Worse than the fire ever will Would you like to set yourself a light, baby? Would you like to glow? Does it hurt most certainly? Minute. I'm Robert Vegas in for Chip Blarty Blar. We got some changes this week, so let's get to it. Miss Sarah Lane still remains in first place with $833.4 million, with surprisingly Potter still in the top 10, bringing in $7.2 million this week. Brian Brushwood remains in second place with $590.1 million. And in third place, it's now Robert C. Cargill with $480.3 million. With Final oh! Destination 5 bringing in a ghastly $18 million. But Justin Robert Young still nips at his butt in fourth place with $480 million even this week. Tom Merritt rises into fifth place with $469.9 million with Rise of the Apes bringing in $27.8 million this week. And in last place, it's Jason Howell with $425.8 million this week. Here's hoping smell vision saves the world. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Viegas. There it is. All right. What? Holy F beans. Is Get Set Go still with us? Is Get Set Go on the line? Yeah, yeah, we're yes. right here. here. Yep, yes, they are. Hello. Crap my pants. You guys <laughs> are awesome. Like, I, I right will on. say this. Thanks, man. That we had, me and Brian had this idea, like, maybe, what, two months ago, three months ago? Yeah, it was mainly the, your idea. It was your series. idea. Yeah, it was, it was all your idea. Um, I'm being gracious. I, okay, but well, stop. It doesn't, <laughs> right. False modesty does not become um, you, Justin. You came up with the idea, Ben. Go. Uh, and we have seen on this show a lot of really awesome acts. Like we, yeah, we've yeah, I, oh yeah. I've certainly so what, we've we watched. Had, we had the idea of like, hey, if we ask people to perform in front of their webcams, would we get good enough people 
that it would be cool to our audience. And it was a gamble. And it's yeah. like having guys like you on our show totally validates the concept entirely. Awesome. Absolutely. You guys yeah, it's, so awesome. Thanks so much, man. Well, it's, it's really funny. We, you know, uh, uh, one of our hardcore fans turned us on to your, on your program. And then, and then since then, Eric and I have been have been like, oh, let's check out these shows. And we've been, uh, you watched like ten today I've or something, like, like twelve of them, I think. And, I, and I've been watching them intermittently over the over the past <laughs> like week or so. And they're awesome. And the thing is, like, and you guys are into the exact. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm a hardcore gamer. Um, I basically spend, you know, I, I spend my entire life on the internet. I'm either writing songs or I'm goofing off, you know, like commiserating with fans and what have you. So things like, so all of the things that are relevant to you guys and the things that you touch on, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome because that's me too. So yeah, it's beautiful. I, I, I love what you guys do and we will be an ardent supporter. And uh, if ever you need uh, us to write you a tune, we'll do it. You know, like, just let us know. But uh, yeah. Oh, God. Whoa, Thank brain you explosion. So uh, you know what? There's only one thing I want. If you guys would mind flashing us, you, you got to do, like, you got two-piece symbols. Yeah, and then the, the diamond. Yeah, I've, Wait, right. see, I've, you know, they yeah. know. This guy's not yeah, even yeah, 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 yeah. We've, we've watched it. We, I, I, I'm, I'm all about it. I explain it like the guy's handicapped. If you take yeah. two fingers and... Yeah. Yeah, but, but do we have to, like, don't we have to, like, throw some attitude into it? Yeah, it's like... It's awesome, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's freaking yeah. awesome, dude. Dude, that's <laughs> thank you guys so much. It's it's it, you guys were fantastic, and uh, there are certain there are certain times that the moment the musicians start, the whole chat realm just gets hypnotized, and they seem to only be able to say one thing over and over again how much uh, how much fun they're having. And I kid you not, you couldn't see it, but nonstop the chat room just kept shouting encore the entire awesome. time we were talking between your sets. You guys killed it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much fun. Yeah.